And now weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. A pretty typical late March day across the area. Lots of sunshine, a little cold this morning, but nice this afternoon. Currently looking at mostly clear skies. Here's a look at the morning lows. 30 degrees this morning in Springfield. We even had a sprinkling of upper 20s. 27 in Clinton, 27 in Fort Leonard Wood, 28 in West Plains. So it's still late March. You can still get cold weather. You can still get below freezing temperatures. We had that this morning. How much longer should we expect this? Well, on average here in Springfield, our last 32 degree morning, last freezing morning, isn't until about the middle of April. A lot of folks will tell you, well, go ahead and wait another week even beyond that. And I think that that makes a lot of sense based on how things go typically. So realistically, we've probably got another three weeks or so where we could have freezing temperatures. Now in the short term, we're looking at a warming trend. Uh, we started that today with highs in the low 60s this afternoon. In fact, 63 today so far in Springfield. A quiet scene across the middle of the country that will change in a couple of days. We've got a big storm slowly making its way down the west coast. Eventually it will start making its way inland and will push across the middle of the country on Friday. And as it makes its way across the area, it'll generate a host of problems. Now, I don't think flooding is going to be much of a problem, unlike last week's storm, but we are going to have the risk of severe weather. We're also going to have the risk of windy conditions and even the risk of maybe higher fire danger. So let's kind of go through that. Uh, for Friday, it looks like we are going to find scattered storms moving through during the daytime hours. Now, I think the timing for a severe weather threat, any kind of severe weather threat, would really be from maybe, say, uh, or 7 o'clock in the morning all the way through about 5 to 6 o'clock Friday evening. So this is a daytime threat. At this stage, I think it's going to be a few severe storms. I think for the morning hours, if we see anything severe, I might get some hail or maybe even some strong winds. Uh, but I think during the afternoon, that's when the storms may pose a greater overall threat, including the risk of tornadoes. But by that point, we're going to have some drier air working in from the west as a dry line makes its way from west to east across the area. So I think the risk for uh, severe weather, the greater risk for severe weather, and this falls right in line with the Storm Prediction Center's outlook, is going to be for areas east of Highway 65 Friday afternoon. In addition to that, we're going to find windy conditions developing Thursday night into Friday. And as we work into the afternoon, the winds are going to ramp up. Uh, looks like we will find wind gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour with gusts maybe as high as 50 miles per hour. And with the stronger winds and with that drier air moving in, we're also going to be looking at a higher fire danger. And at this stage, we have fire, uh, fire weather watches in effect for areas near and west of I-49. Uh, when you get those kinds of conditions, that's a day where you don't want to do any burning of any kind. And you want to be very careful with fire sources. Looking at our forecast tonight, quiet. Tomorrow we're going to find a gradual increase in cloudiness, I think, across the area from southwest to northeast, but dry. Tomorrow night can't rule out a shower or thunderstorm, but most of the night, most of the area looks dry. Then on Friday, we're going to find, I think, a wave of scattered showers and thunderstorms working through during the morning through early afternoon. And then right along the front, we could find some additional development in addition to what's already making its way across the area. All of that should be exiting before sunset. Friday evening temperatures tonight drop off to 42 68 for the high here in Springfield looking ahead to tomorrow uh, Friday morning mild morning 57 for the morning low with an afternoon high of 74 degrees here in Springfield and then as we get into the weekend uh, things quiet down sunshine Saturday and Sunday 57 for a high Saturday 72 on Sunday and we could find our first round of near 80 degree highs across the area early next week but we'll also be watching for maybe some strong to severe storms especially uh, late Tuesday guys.